So we're here at Mobile World Congress. So you have the the cross bounce chip. What is that? So cross bounce is not a chip. It's a software only solution. Um, it's software on the on the cell phone, and we are over the standard Wi-Fi through an access point. We are mirroring the complete GUI and all the apps and all the content from the phone, either to a projector through HDMI or a HD TV. So this is uh, the receiver. This is currently the receiver. There is a TI OMAP in there. Uh, you see, it has an HDMI connection. It's now going through a HDMI switch because we have a, a second demo running. So the, the second demo you see is a device-to-device -device mirroring. So um, you see that we are now mirroring to devices, so so users could share their content over standard Wi-Fi to each other, and. This phone is connected uh, via HDMI to that projector through the switch, so I have it on there right now. So how can you make it work here at the conference? There's so much interference. So this is this is the important thing on our technology. Maybe you have seen the HTC Media Link stuff. Uh, they try to, to get it running, but they, are, they, they need so much bandwidth that it is not running in this interference environment with this heavy Wi-Fi conditions. As we are based on a very low bandwidth and data rate because of our technology, which is OpenGLES based, uh, we can achieve still a, a very good low latency performance in this crowded Wi-Fi conditions environment. So, so you can imagine at your home, when you're at home in your living room, it will work without latency at all. I mean, it's a one milliseconds, two milliseconds latency. So you just install an app on any Android? No, that, 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 that is a pitfall with our technology, so it's really technology for uh, OEMs or companies that have access to the operating system. I mean, guys that know how to root their devices and using a CyanogenMod, mod, for example, they could use our library, put it in there and then have this mirroring capabilities. On this device where we, where we have the app now, yeah. On, on that device that is acting as a receiver right now, here our technology is an app, so that dongle is not necessarily needed. Galaxy Nexus. This is a Galaxy Nexus. No with root. No root. Uh, it's there. Standard. So you just download an app and you get it running. How, can, how, how come? Is that because you talk with Google and they say, okay, let's put it No, in. so because our technology on the receiver side does not need that deep open GL access. On the source side, we need a a more access to the OpenGLS driver layer uh, to get that working. So, your uh, what do you call this area? This? Um, yeah, we call that our remote GPU. The remote uh, GPU. Yes. So this because we are using the GPU from yeah. the TIO. Uh, yeah. So, so um, yeah, it's now running. So is this a prototype? This is a prototype. Yeah, you, yeah. you could put it that way. It's. Uh, uh, and. Uh, there is, it's okay to say what's inside, the CPU? Oh uh, yeah, it's a, it's a TIO map, it's an ARM, uh, it's yeah. a, I think it's an ARM 9 or... Yeah, ARM Cortex A8 maybe, is it OMAP 3? It's an OMAP 3, yes. So uh, it has uh, uh, the SGX uh, PAR VR uh, GPU from Imagination inside, yes, and it's that's a, what you need to it, decode... It, yeah, to re-render, re so, because we are re-rendering to target resolution, so even we have low resolution on the phone, we're having a high resolution over there because we are re-rendering the graphic information to the higher display. So we are resolution independent, so to say. So we could even go to 4K, for example, or even higher resolution as long the GPU is supporting those resolutions. So what is your secret? What is the uh, what is the algorithm you use to use a little? Yeah, as you said, it, it, it is a secret. So uh, we, we we won't tell you. So we, we do not tell how we really do it. What we say is, or what we tell uh, customers and uh, interested people is. We work on graphics commands, we are not working on pixels, we are not working on frames, we are working on the graphics really where images and frames are generated. We are, we, we are, we are catching the data where it is generated. You're not sending a command like saying open open the browser and then it opens the browser. It's not just that. It's no, it's not just that. The screen is it, it, it's really it, the screen. It's the screen information of the GPU, yeah. And, uh, it, it has, it's not vector graphics, it's OpenGL it, 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 stuff. It, it's OpenGL stuff, vector graphics stuff, so it's a mixture of uh, 
a lot right. of things, yes. Is it better than Apple mirroring? Is it better than all the other mirroring on the market? We, we think so that we are better than other mirroring solutions, especially now, today, you can see, I think they have announced it yesterday, the HTC Media Link. Um, they do not get it running because of these Wi-Fi conditions here, so they have a hard time, they have a lot of artifacts because they have a high data transport bandwidth they need uh, to get their solution running. I mean, we are standing here in this environment and yeah, we... we, we on the Wi-Fi? On the Wi-Fi, we just do it. We and uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, what kind of bandwidth do you need? Is that also um, a secret? Of or? course, no, it's not a secret. It, it, it really depends on uh, the, the apps that we are doing on the data we, 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 are, we are having. So this ranges, for example, now we are doing Angry Birds. So Angry Birds will take about uh, 50 kilobyte of data per second transfer and this is why we still work pretty good. So. Is it dynamic uh, frequency? No, uh, that, refresh? no that's, that's the problem we have with the conference here. So we have a fixed channel. We are working on Wi-Fi channel, on a okay. fixed Wi-Fi channel. So we do not can turn on the automatism to always look for the best Wi-Fi channel. But what I mean, uh, the frequency or the re refresh rate. If oh, nothing okay. happens, it doesn't need to send data? Exactly. Automatically? Yeah. So, so there is no continuous transport of data. It's not a full video, uncompressed video. No, 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 video no, stuff. no, no. Going on. It's not based on pixels. It's not based on frames. So we are not doing iframe only encoding and decoding again. What Wi-Fi display is doing, for example. And, and you still see. It's quite smooth. How yeah. about video? It's better not to do wireless, no. Uh, video. We we can do video as well, but this is now where. The Wi-Fi is really too hard to do it, so but this is then a kind of standard DLNA technology. So in theory, it's okay to do video. Yes, yeah, in theory, it's okay to do video. But uh, maybe it's better to just connect the cable when you do video, and the rest you can do. No, I, I would say it's it's better to have a better Wi-Fi environment. So in your living room, video streaming would not be a problem because there we of course do RTP streaming. So no fancy stuff, just even standard HD? technology, even HD, even 1080p. Even 1080. And even the most advanced video games, it's the same as video. It's basically. I, I would I would put it that way. Yes. Yeah? yeah. So you would basically say that you would suggest using everything digitized. Yes. Yes. All right. So how soon is available? Uh, uh, how many millions of phones ship with it? <laughs> so currently, it's the first time that we really show it uh, officially out there. We we ha we're having talks to a lot of uh, customers, and they like the solution. They see the benefit of the solution compared to other technologies. We think that maybe at the end of the day there will be a combination out in the market, a combination between Wi-Fi display and crossbounds, because there are also benefits on the other side, and combining these uh, two solutions uh, would, would create the best user experience. So you, there's a license fee to add your technology? Yes, yeah, so it, it's a licensing model, it's IP licensing, it's software, and, and the beauty is you do not have to add any hardware to your phone or to your TV set, it's software, it's Linux based, you can port it. Where are you based the company? It, the company is based in Germany, Hanover, Garbsen. And uh, how many engineers are you? We are 14 engineers. 14? Yes, 4 zero. But not everybody is working on crossbounds. We are we're doing design services, we have been an ARM uh, design center for a long, long time, so we are doing chip design for customers. Like SOCs? SOCs, embedded software design as well, so embedded Linux systems. Yeah. PCB design house. Also. As well, yeah. So maybe I can I can show you. So um, <laughs> so this is uh, what is in, in in here. Yeah. So this is a, a PCB we have designed uh, where we have the TIO map, where we have a silicon image HDMI chip, uh, and where we have a Wi-Fi Bluetooth combo chip. Nice. So it's MHL, so it can power no, it's, no, uh, no, it's HDMI. H it's HDMI 1.3. Okay. So we have a battery built in. So it's running from the battery, and uh, it's running here at the conference. I need three dongles a day, so it's running three, three hours, three and a half hours with full operation the whole day. And you charge it where, sorry? Um, there is a, a USB uh, port. At the back, you can just keep it charged all the time. Yeah, so, so of course on your TV with a small USB cable, you could yeah. plug it into the USB part of your TV and you, you, you charge and power it all the time. So the battery is this bump? No, no, this is the, the, the on-off switch. It's a, oh, yeah, yeah, it, nice it's a prototype. 
Cool. All right. So how much is it going to cost? This. Yeah. So this will be. We hope that we can bring it into into the market between. 90 to 130 euros. Uh, we are working on a new generation as this is 720p at the moment. Yeah. We are working on a 1080p uh, dongle uh, that will be half of that. Uh, OMAP 4? I know this will probably not be OMAP 4 based okay. because access to OMAP 4 is a little bit, uh, it, it's not that easy. Okay. Yeah.